All right. It is very, very pretty outside today. Uh, it is not anywhere near this beautiful uh, this time of year usually. So I figured I'd make a video outside, take advantage of the nice weather. Um, so previous video, I talked about uh, many of the ways in which environment is quite important and heavily you know, determining the outcomes of people's lives and, and their beliefs about you know, what it means to live a life uh, worth living, what is worth doing here on this planet, um, and how this will impact their behaviors, uh, how they will influence the lives of others, how will they will impact the lives of others, uh, and you know whether they'll you know go on to be a good person or a bad person. Um, there's a lot of there's subjectivity there, but there's a lot. Of, there are a lot of agreements, uh, universally agreed upon things, and in, in terms of what makes a person not so good and not so environment is going to play a large role in that. Uh, and whether you're talking about, you know, childhood, whether you, you know, uh, embryonic development plays a large, you know, like in the womb, what takes place there and how they develop gradually. Uh, all these things are going to play a very large role in determining a person's quality of life, their experiences, how they will perceive those experiences, their behaviors in the world, all of these things. Um, so in this video, I'm going to do the other thing. I'm going to, I'm going to ramble a little bit about how I'm going to set the, there we go, just against it. I'm going to ramble about how genetics uh, heavily determine the way in which a person's life will turn out, uh, which is not as pleasant of a thing to talk about because it, it tends to paint a far more fatalistic picture uh, in terms of, you know, it's universally agreed upon that life is just disgustingly, obscenely unfair. Uh, that there's, there's not much disagreement there. I mean, you're going to have people that will claim, uh, well, the quote unquote losers of the world, you know, fuck them, you know, just let them drown. Let them, uh, you're going to have people claiming that, but that's a, that's a different thing to, and that's a large portion of people. And, and why do people, why do so many people believe that that should be the way that it is? Environment, of course, but genetics also heavily determine how callous, how apathetic a human being is towards other fellow human beings. Uh, so, uh, I guess I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ramble. I don't know where I'm going with this uh, specifically, but um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's important to acknowledge all the ways in which genetics play a large role in determining who we are, if we care about um, what are the most optimal ways of going about treating the unfairness of life, attempting to make it as fair as we can without just making things worse. Um, and that's where like the, the primary, the fundamental disagreements seem to be uh, between human beings. Like what, what, are, what are some things we can do? What are the optimal policies uh, that will make things better without just making things worse? Uh, you know, the full scope outcomes and you're going to have, again, beliefs are going to play a very large role in determining what you believe to be good outcomes. You know, if you believe, um, if you believe in an all loving, all knowing, all powerful God, uh, you're going to be far more likely to believe that abortion is just completely irrevocably unethical. You know, it's unethical. It's, it's ethically wrong entirely. There's no, you're going to be more likely to believe that. Uh, that you know, the termination of embryos is is m equivalent to murder, um, and belief is of course heavily determined by environment, but also genetics play a large role, and your openness to differing ideas, differing opinions on what happens after we die, and all these very important questions. Uh, in terms of determining your behaviors in the world. So, a lot of that's genetic as well. Uh, uh, yeah, if you believe that, you're going to be more likely to believe that abortion is just completely fucked beyond, no exceptions, uh, without even considering what the alternatives oftentimes look like. Like, what does it mean to force 
uh, a pregnant woman into giving birth to what is oftentimes an unwanted child that will oftentimes live a life that is, um, you, know, you see the way in which you know, their experiences and the way they'll perceive those experiences and the way they'll conduct themselves in the world and all that stuff. And um, you, you consider what that alternative oftentimes looks like. Uh, you will at least consider the possibility that even if you believe abortion is wrong, that the alternative might be fucking worse in many cases. You'll at least be able to consider that as a possibility without just immediately shutting it down on the basis of, you know, my God says it's completely fucking, so it's completely wrong. Um, what was this video? Genetics. Right. Um being very important in determining who a person is. Why am I rambling to a fucking camera in the woods right now? That's not a usual thing. Why am I such a goddamn freak? Uh, a lot of that had to do with genetics. A lot of it. I don't know how much, but a large portion of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is a strange thing. Uh, there's a house not too far. I wonder if they can hear me speaking to myself in a loud tone of voice. <laughs> Uh, it's not too far. It's far enough. I, I don't think they can. But yeah, just who a person is, how they will conduct themselves in the world, uh, what they will believe to be right action and wrong action, and being able to consider um, potential gray areas and, and how to best live a life worth living and how to best go about ensuring that you're attempting to make it to where the most people get to live a life uh, worth living. And all these things are heavily determined by genetics. If it was all environment, then the solutions would be far more black and white. It would be far more clear. Uh, how do we best go about solving these problems? Uh, and that's the other, that's the other thing about uh, discussing genetic differences because I mean uh, if you acknowledge that certain genetic you know, certain behaviors behaviors can be good or bad there are certain behaviors that are just universally agreed upon uh, unless you believe in some crazy shit happens after death that they're bad behaviors many behaviors universally agreed upon as bad and many universally agreed upon as good um, if you acknowledge the fact that these characteristics in determining behavior are heavily determined by genetics, then it's very easy from, to from there go, okay, well, so there are good genetic predispositions and, and not so good ones. So then you start, oh, so there are superior genetics and inferior genetics. And, and then you get into some really, you know, potentially messy, slippery slope territory when you have people attempting to, to solve those, uh, you know, how do we best weed out the inferior genetic, like, that's obviously, <laughs> you're going to get into some fucked up territory. Um, to a point where it's just, yeah, especially if you're someone who believes that race is an important determining factor of outcomes and I do not uh, but of course yeah if you have people who believe that and then you start getting into some really, sh really potentially fucked up like how do we best go about solving these problems uh, <laughs> yeah as I said before yeah my health has been shit lately and this has been a really really powerful outlet rambling to myself like a madman I haven't uh, I don't want to go into, but other factors right now in my life haven't been so great either. And this has been a really good distraction from reality. Uh, rambling to a camera in the woods is just such a, oh man, it's a, it's a great coping mechanism. I recommend that everyone give it a shot, give it a try. It really... <laughs> um, yeah. 
genetics heavily determine um, our experiences in the world and how we perceive those experiences as being and how we're best able to cope with them uh, and what our coping methods will consist of. You know, maybe yours will be rambling to a camera in the woods like a crazy person, or maybe it'll be uh, collecting stamps, or maybe it'll be uh, trying to fuck children off of the internet. There's a lot of that. And I, I talked about that in a previous video. Like, if you are to believe that that behavior, having sex with children, is, is heavily determined by, almost completely determined by environment, uh, you're insane if you believe that. That, you know, the pedophiles of the world, the people who have that desire and act upon it, that that's just environment? That it's even mostly environment? Uh, and just the impulsivity, you know, like the compulsion to do it, not just the desire, but the factors that are at play that make it more likely that people will actually act upon the desires. Like, of course that's heavily determined by genetics. Um, so, I, there's no, and there's so many things, you know, so many, again, fucked up behaviors that are just universally agreed upon as bad, as very, very bad. And that's one of them. There are many. Uh, and many of those are going to be heavily determined by genetics.